Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to our daily tune-up today. What can we do about stress? It's going to be there. Stress is something that actually makes life function in a very appropriate way. In this day and age, many people are running from stress. You go to a doctor and you complain about stress and they put you on antidepressants. Somebody has a bad day and all of a sudden they think their life's collapsing because it was a stressful day. We don't get stressed out because of the good days, only the stressful days, right? Well, that kind of makes sense. However, the stressful days and the good days all work together. Keep in mind, stress is a perception. You're only going to be stressed because you tell yourself that you are. All of the things that we feel, all the things that we are, pretty much come from the way we talk to ourself. Stress is one of those anomalies that we create most of the time. Of course, you can say our circumstances are what cause our stress, but it really isn't the circumstances. I know some people who get stressed out over one thing, and another person is completely fine with it. It doesn't bother them at all. So it's how we look at things. As we say, it's that complex equivalency of the way we think about things that causes most of the things not only to happen in our life, but for us to feel them in our life. If you're stressed out today, and you know, we all have a lot of excuses for reasons we could be. Maybe we don't have a job. Maybe we have not enough money. Maybe we're behind on our bills. Maybe something is going on at work. We're not getting along with our boss, or maybe we're not getting along with our employees. There's always something to complain about. But keep in mind, every time we complain, that is a manifestation. That is the last most dominant thing that you're focusing on. And we draw to us those things that we focus on with great passion. Stress is also one of those things. If you find yourself stressed out about something, and you really don't know how to stop being stressed out about it, change the way you think about it. In fact, there's a little trick you can do by closing your eyes and simply imagining that you have your hand on a knob and put your hand on this knob and feel your stress and just allow yourself to turn it down. This is a technique called VK attenuation in neurolinguistic programming and it works if you'll let it. I also find a lot of people want their stress. It gives them an excuse to fail. It gives them an excuse not to perform at a high level. It gives them an excuse to opt out on events and things. If you're stressed, attempt to use that little experiment I just showed you with. It works. Close your eyes, put your hand on an imaginary knob, just put it out there like this, and turn down the stress. And keep turning until you feel a relief. And then tell it to stay there. And it most likely will. And then when it becomes stressful again, turn it down again. And you are conditioning your mind to know that signal means you do not want to be stressed. Give it a shot. See how it works for you. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary, stress-free day. And remember, it is your choice. Until then, bye-bye.